from a fallout shelter in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Really? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And here we are with Like Us 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Alex on the Tom Like Us show. Hello. Why, how you doing, Tom? Great. What's going on, man? Doing a little radio show here. Oh, yeah. Um, well, Tom, I'm having a problem with my girlfriend. Um, your age is I, what? I'm having problem. Uh, her age is 19. What is your age? 18. Strike one. <laughs> Anyways, um, all right, about Friday, like this last Friday, she went, um, like, she told me she's going out with her friends, dinner, and all that stuff. And then I'm like, all right, you know? And then my cousin calls me, and she goes, her friends are at somewhere else, but she's not here, you know? I'm like, all well, right. Well, there you go. Yeah, so I start calling her. She's not picking up. She's not asking not. my text, nothing. No, why? Because she had her mouth full. <laughs> no, I don't know. Maybe. And then, uh, so what happens is I find her. I call her. I'm like, where are you? She, she's still lying to me. I'm like, no, you're not. You're not there. Where are you? And then she clicks on me. She, she didn't talk to me, this, that. And then I just, I leave, you know, I'm like, whatever. I go out. I'm out drinking with my friends. And then she calls me. She goes, where are you? Like, crying to me. And then I'm like, all right, I'm here. Come pick me up. We need to talk. And I'm like, where were you? This, that. And she goes, I was out with another guy. There you go. Case closed. Yeah, but I'm like, why'd you do that? Why would you do that? And then she gives me some girl lecture. Girl, well, you're know, you're a little boy. Uh, you'll probably buy that stuff. No, oh, man. You are an in, inexperienced little boy, and you'll probably buy her crap. No, I don't think so. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, why Why do you have a girlfriend? Let's start with that. Um, I don't know. I just Do you always do that. things, and you don't know why you do them? No, I know. Yeah, I do. I know most things I do. Yeah, why don't you know why you have a girlfriend? Because I like, I know, I like the feeling of having the girlfriend. Why do you like that feeling? Because there's, like, always someone there for you or something. Oh, really? How about when she's out uh, getting plugged by another guy? Is she there for you then? No, that's not what happens. She's like, uh, I that's want not to what she... I love you or, like, oh, I think about you. Oh, stop it. Oh, God. Why are you calling me? You, uh, you obviously know more than I do. No, of course not, Tom. You're she's Tom. she's the most loyal, wonderful girlfriend a guy could ever have, and you you're absolutely right to believe every bit of BS she's giving you. You are right because it's all about love, and you're in love. We're on the radio, you idiot. Oh my bad. I mean... Why are you calling me if you already know how wonderful she is and you already believe her line of crap? Why are you calling me? No, I'm not calling you for that. I'm calling to ask you what should I do. You, you, you have to ask? Are you that stupid that you have to ask? Are you a regular student in this class? Uh, no. You're not? No. Have you ever been a student in this class? No, I, I might have taken a semester. Right, and then dropped out because you found the girl of your dreams. Uh, Who's cheating on you now? <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. I hope you're happy. 
Uh, could I get a gangster bong hit? See, you, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna buy her line of crap, right? Yeah. Right, and you're gonna keep dating her. No, no, man, I'm not gonna keep dating yes, her. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You want me to call you tomorrow and tell you how it went? No, let's call her right now. You break up with her right now. Let's do it right here because I don't believe you. We're already broken up. No, you're not broken up. I we broke up today. Then why were you calling? Because I don't know. I just, because I don't know. I no, because you're lying to me now. You didn't break up with her. Oh no, I'm serious. You broke. Let's up call her and check. I... Why? Because I don't believe you. Oh, why would I be lying to myself? <laughs> you're lying to me. I don't know why, why you're lying to yourself. Lying to you? Why would you lie to me? Because you're afraid I'm going to kick your ass, and you know I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> I'll call her right now. I'll find out if you broke up with her. Because <laughs> I, I know you didn't. Now, just admit you didn't break up with her. Uh, no, but like, why would I have to lie to you about me breaking up with her? You girl? did lie to me because you you didn't break up with her. Did you? I'm telling you I did. I know what you're telling me. That doesn't mean it's true. And it doesn't mean I'm going to believe it. I, what what do I have to gain from me lying? Well, let's call her right now. We'll find out. There's no point in calling her. I'll I mean, tell you I'm what. You I'll pay word. you a hundred bucks uh, if you give me her phone number and I can call her on the. I'll pay you a hundred bucks. Don't be a person. Cash. No, I'd rather not. Yeah, I know you'd rather not because you're lying. <laughs> Aren't you? No, I'm not. All right, two hundred. Cash. I will pay you two hundred dollars cash to give me her real phone number. Uh, um. Uh, no, I don't think so. I'll give you three hundred dollars cash. Three bills. Yes, but I want her real phone number, and she has to answer. What if she doesn't answer? Then you don't get the money. So you have to give me the money where you know I'm going to reach her. Give me the number where you know I'm going to reach her. Um, I'm calling you on your crap. I'm giving you your opportunity right now to prove I'm wrong. I mean, like, why would I, have, why would I mess up more things with her? I, I'm telling you why. It, why would you mess up more things with her? What do you mean? What is there to mess up? I don't know. You've already broken up with her. What are you worried about? It's nothing to ruin. You broke up with her, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm giving you three hundred dollars. You give me your phone number. Uh, I don't know. Tom. Cash. Nah. Why not? Because you're lying. That's why. This is $300 for a phone number. It's the most money anyone ever offered for a telephone number. I mean, money isn't an issue. Yeah, because you're lying to me, and if I call her, I'm going to prove that you're a liar. Because she's going to flip out when I tell her that you broke up with her, and she's going to say, no, he didn't. That's what you're afraid of messing up, isn't it? I mean, like, why would I have to lie to you about me? Well, because I just, I just proved it. How much would I have to offer you for that phone number? <laughs> How much do you make? Yeah, see what I mean? If you were telling the truth, you'd take the 300 easy bucks I'm offering you right now. You had nothing to lose. Why would you turn down three hundred bucks? Because I have cash. Money, I That's not money. the point. I'm going to give you. I'll tell you what. If someone offered me three hundred dollars for the phone number of your ex girlfriend, I'd cough it up immediately. You can call any of my ex girlfriend. Just give me three hundred dollars for any phone number. I'll give you their number. Uh. 
Because I caught you lying. That's why, Alex. Now, just admit it, and don't let me embarrass you any further. Admit you didn't break up with her. Son, I've been doing this a long time, and I know when people like you are lying. That's why I whipped out the checkbook. So just admit it, and then I'll stop haranguing you. I... You didn't break up with her, did you? No. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Cash is an amazing truth teller. You know what? It's like a truth serum. If you've got the cash to offer people, you, <laughs> Dean's right. I saved myself another $300. I never have to pay on these things. I never have to pay. But, I mean, an 18-year-old Mexican kid calls me, <laughs> and I offer him $300 for the phone number of his supposedly ex-girlfriend, and he turns it down. What do you think happened? Not to mention the fact he slipped in the middle of the conversation. He said he was afraid of messing things up further with her. Why would you be afraid of that if you broke up with her? Because you didn't break up with her. Liar. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Does she ask you about her, your family or any personal questions? She met my mom. She met your mom two weeks in? Oh. Uh, Jeff. Yeah. This is booty call. You never introduce your mom to booty calls. <laughs> never. It's Like is 101 on the Tom Likis Show. It's... The Tom Likas Show at 1 800 5800 Tom. It's Likas 101. Tony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Yes. Hey, buddy. I got a problem tonight. <laughs> okay. I got, a, I got a three date rule problem. Um, got this chick, been out with her a couple times, did really good the first two times, did docks the first night, burgers the second night. Uh, this is the third night. It's her birthday. I'm taking her out to Morton, so I know it's going to be over 40 bucks, man. But she's talking about doing me tonight, so. <laughs> yeah, and what is your question? Well, the three-day rule, man. I mean, it's I'm going to get laid probably, but it's going to cost me well over 40 bucks. Well, first of all, there's some kind of a deal right now at Morton's. And if you oh, call really? them, yes, I got a, I got a one of the, because uh, I'm on their mailing list. There's <laughs> some kind of deal right now, like a surf and turf dinner for two or something, that is super cheap. I don't think it's under forty, Man, but it's that, super cheap. Is it worth it? <laughs> well, you tell me. I, I, I personally, I, I don't think you should have to spend that much money, and I don't think you should be with her on her birthday. Yeah, that's a no no, huh? Well, I don't like that term, but it's definitely something I wouldn't approve of. Oh, man. All right. Um, I'm on my way out there right now. I'm in Corona on my way out to Palm Springs. That's where, where she lives. I mean, uh, you, you wait, and you have to pick her up in Palm Springs? Are you taking her to Morton's in Palm Springs? Yeah, well, I've been doing construction out there. I ran into her out there. Oh, so, and there's Morton's out there, and she wants to go, so. Oh, boy. I bet that's no bargain. Yeah. In terms of the price. She looks like she's worth it, but I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't believe in paying for sex, and I certainly <laughs> do not believe in going out there and spending that uh, that that kind of money. Yeah. I'm, I probably should shine her for a birthday, huh? Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, dude. All right. All right. Thanks, Tom. Take another bomb rip. Here you go. <coughs> and Dean Jade Milio, uh, right on the case there. There's a $99 special right now. Did over to at Morton's for 99 bucks. Dean always, t Dean doesn't believe when I say this stuff. He thinks I'm just pulling this stuff out of my ass. Dean always checks when I make a comment like that. How about how about a hundred percent, Dean? A hundred percent? Did anything ever not check out? When I told you my uncle Ray was in rehab and they used to tell me he was visiting his uh, friend Charlie Murphy, wasn't there a Charlie Murphy's rehab center in Huntington, Long Island? 
He thinks I make this stuff up like to make the stories colorful or just uh, I just, you know, burp stuff out on the air. And so he checks me, uh, checks me on. He checked to see if there was a hotel called the Madison Radisson, in Madison, Wisconsin. And there is. For God's sake. Yes, 99 bucks, dinner for two. Uh, if you insist on spending the money, spend as little as necessary. Then you get that birthday meal all hooked up, if you have to do it. But I don't believe in being with them on the birthday. Too much commitment. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's John on Like Us 101. Hello. Hello. Yes. How are you doing? Great. I got a story for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of my ex-girlfriends back when I was on the road a few years back, well, not a few, a few months back, had a child while I was out on the road. And she called me up and told me that she was pregnant. I was on the road, so I know it wasn't me. And I told her, I said, well, let's take a DNA test. And she's like, no, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Well, tonight, after not talking to her for 14 months, she came up to my job, called me on my job, and wanted to go eat. I said, fine. So we went and sat down. We ate. And then just as we got to finish our meal, she told me that her child is my brother's. <laughs> oh, I was out on the road. She was doing my brother, and he has the child. And he's not supporting her, and she wanted me to. And I said, I said, sure, I'll support her. And I, said, I got up. So I went to the bathroom, got up, and got my truck and left. And that was two hours ago. Oh, my. I God. had a $25 steak. Unbelievable. That's what I said. I think I did the right thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and what about your brother? What kind of brother is he? Well, he's got three other kids that he's paying child support. He's 28 years old. He works $10 an hour. Of course he and, does, because he's a loser. Uh, well, yes. Constantly broke. And yeah, I am. I drive a truck. I'm not the best-looking guy, but I'm a decent-looking guy. But I make $65,000 a year, and I'm happy. Mm-hmm. And I think it just makes him really mad that I make all this money and I don't have to spend it. And he, all of his money, like two thirds of his checks go to child support to three different women. And that's six and before. Really? Yo. Yep. I'm sorry to hear that. But, not, uh, what does that do me. to you? What does that do to your relationship with your brother? You, you, this is okay with you? Well, he's my brother. So I guess, you know, family blood. We've got to stick Well, he, he doesn't feel that way. I'm sure he don't, but I'm not going to hold a grudge. It's not my problem no more. So if he bangs every woman you're ever with, it's okay. If you ever get married, he bangs your wife, he's still your brother. That's what you're going to say, right? Uh, I'm not getting married. Oh, I, I think you're a living girlfriend of 20 years. He bangs her. That'll be okay with you? No, it would not be. But I don't have a girlfriend. I haven't had a girlfriend since and started listening to you, and I, I love it. Good. Are you getting I, more ass than a toilet seat, John? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, I called one right after I left her, and later on tonight, after she gets done doing whatever she's doing, we're going to go hook up. Good luck, John. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Chris? Chris? Yes. Are you busy over there? No, no, no. I'm at work right now, Tom. Ah. Yeah, I'm not busy. I'm at work. <laughs> How's it going, Tom? Great. Um, I actually, I had a quick question about Like Us 101 because I just barely started listening to you like a couple months ago. Uh-huh. Uh, my buddy uh, turned me on to the show, and uh, I'm glad to start listening to it. But I want to know what I'm doing wrong. Um, I'm the one that drives the car, you know, the nice car, pays for everything, and he's the one that gets the girls. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> You're spending money. I'm not spending that much money. How much I are you was, spending? I'm not spending more than freaking thirty dollars. Well, I don't spend anything more than thirty dollars. How many times have you gone out with this girl? No, I don't go out with girl. I go out with the guys and go try to find girls. So wait a minute, you haven't found any girls? Yeah, that's my problem. That's my issue right now. I'm trying to figure out where should I go because, I mean... Well, don't go out with... First of all, don't go out with a pack of guys. 
Well, no, no, no. It's just me and my buddy. We, I, mean, I, I have a wingman. What you, for? No, what do you need role? a wingman for? Well, I mean, okay. I normally go out and shoot pools. I don't. I will, don't go out to shoot pool alone because that's you why go I out club. to clubs and you go to the bar and you put your foot up on the rail and you order a drink for yourself and you act like you're there and you're perfectly happy to be on your own. Women are attention whores. If they see you drinking by yourself, they will come up and initiate conversation with you because they can't stand the idea that you're not paying attention to them. Oh, okay. When you go there with the wingman, you've got the stink of death. You're in there on a mission. Oh, okay. I you have to look like you're there. going to a bar just to hang out and drink. They, they look at it as you're just, you're just out there to go hang you out. You know, I love time. going to a bar and having a drink by myself. I, lo I just happen to love it. So I exude confidence. Do you know how many women sit down next to me when I'm having a drink at a bar? How many? Constantly. Wow. Because they just can't stand the idea that I'm not out there trying to impress them or buy them things or look at them. I'm just there having a drink and talking to the bartender. Well, eventually, wouldn't you, don't you, like, buy one of the ladies a drink? Not if I can avoid it. Oh, okay. Okay. My well, goal is to avoid that. Or at the very least, like, buy every other drink. So, in other words, I'm not really paying for any drinks. Okay, that. Oh, okay, that's good. All right. Going Thanks. out with the wingman, um, women immediately smell a rat. They know you're on a mission. You see, women have to have plausible deniability. They have to believe that you're not there to get laid. You're there because you think they're nice or cute or you like the dress they're wearing or whatever. Uh, you can't walk into a bar and have a woman think you're going in there because you're horny and you want to spread her legs and nail her. Even oh, though so you do. I'm pursued as the nice guy. That's my problem. Well, my you got to stop doing that. <laughs> that's why you're not meeting any women. I guess. I you guess have to be funny. an a-hole. Well, I don't know how to do that because I, I grew up with uh, my grandmother being. being uh, that's why. Your grandmother raised you. There you go, right there. Well, Honey, I, you have to be nice to the and girls. My, and my father. You have to be nice to the girls. When you're courting, you have to wear a nice suit, and you have to be nice to them. Remember, if they want something, get it for them. And remember, when you pee, be sure to be sitting down. No, that's not it. I grew up with my father and my grandmother. Yeah. So, it, but my my father was a single uh, single father. But my 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 most of my family was disabled, so I mean I really didn't get out much to try to meet ladies until after well, I got out. On my then own. whatever your instincts tell you to do, do the exact opposite. Okay, <laughs> that's nice info. Yeah, if your instincts tell you buy flowers, don't. If your instincts say buy a woman a bottle of champagne, forget it. All right, thanks, Tom. Can you take me out with Bomber Bongrit? I can. Yes, I can. No cough. one 800 5 tom is our telephone number. Here's Kay on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? It's a simple hello. Well, it sounded like a question the way you asked. No, but I disagree with what you say about single mothers. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you have a vested interest in disagreeing, too. Uh, well, I'm a single mother. If that's of course what you are. Yes, I'm I am. sure you are. Mm -hmm. I don't need a man to support me. Right. I work in home health. I have my own house. Wonderful. I don't ask the state to support him. That's fantastic. And I sure don't depend on a man. That's great. What do you look so, like? What do I look like? Mm -hmm. Well, I've got blonde, red hair. I've got blue eyes. How tall are you? Five, eight and a half. How much do you weigh, dear? Maybe 180. That's why. You can't depend on a man. Oh, excuse no me. No man is going to pay your bills. Are you kidding hey, me? Hey, look, you know what? Is that the only thing that you can come back with? Oh, it's a fact, dear. Oh, oh, if you weigh 180 really? pounds, if, you, if you're if tipping at 180, I'm telling you right now, there's not a man out there going to pay your bills. It's a good thing you like to work, dear, because no man's going to pay. Mm-hmm. Sure. That's the only thing you can come back with, right? Because it's the truth. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Darling, why would any man pay the bills if someone weighs 180? 
Well, for my height and my build, no, that's, no, that's dear, very no, good. dear, dear, please, dear, you know, dear, dear. don't compare yourself to the other women at the Cinnabon. Okay, I'm don't telling compare, you right now. Okay, listen, we, don't 180 compare, is don't fat. All women to what you used to. 180 say. is fat, and don't say used oh, to because I, I get laid regularly. Well, goody for you. You probably got AIDS too. Yeah. Well, there you go, dear. Or herpes. Is that all you can come back with? And when it falls off, then is you that all you can come back with? No, but then you can sit back and say, wow, I wish I could. But there you, you go. Know, well, so truth I'll... is, you're a big, fat fatty, and uh, that is why you oh, have to work. I don't need a man. Really, yes, you do. You know, they you just really can't get one. What you think you just can't get a man. You're a narrow-minded. No, I'm not. Pig. I'd rather be narrow-minded than have a broad ass. I don't have a broad ass. Are you kidding? So you got no ass. No, Where kidding. do you put that 180 pounds? Most of it's muscle, sweetheart. Muscle. It's all muscle. Most of it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and your cup size is what? Uh, 42C? No. 44C? No. What 38D. Is 38, 38D. Yeah. Not 36D or 34D. No, I'm not going to lie. You're 180 pounds. So what? You're a big, fat fatty. Well, I'm glad you think so. Uh, but most of the guys out there do. Oh, really? Well, let's find out right now. Uh, Chris, do you think she's a big, fat fatty? What do you think? Yeah, I absolutely think she's a big, fat fatty. Well, he has to say that. He's working on your show. He doesn't work on the show. He's one of the callers coming up here. Uh, Scott, I'm just picking these up at random. Scott, uh, what do you think about Kay? Is she a big, fat fatty? What's the deal? Oh, man, big fatty, big fatty, big fatty. <laughs> well, that's fine. Y'all go right ahead. I, I'm just telling you that this is what the guys think. Uh, I don't care what the guys think. The guys I, well, think clearly that, you the guys don't. don't pay my bills. The that they don't, don't pay your bills because you table. weigh 180 the guys pounds. Don't put a roof over my head. And because you weigh 180 pounds, that's why. Whatever. Hey, Will, what do you think about K? What? What do you think about K? I think I, I think she, I think she sounds like a big fatty, and I think she also has a striking resemblance to Britney Spears, and that should say enough in itself. <laughs> Andrew, what do you think about Kay? Uh, I say she's way too fat. <laughs> she needs to lose a lot of weight and then uh, lose the kid and maybe she can talk. Uh, this would you... is the best thing that I've ever done in my life, so you can stick it where the sun don't shine. Would you? Let me ask you a question, Andrew. Would you pay the bills of a woman who weighs 180 pounds? Uh, no, actually I wouldn't. Not well, unless she was six foot four. Well, yeah, you know really. What? That... That is your opinion, and that's it's the fine. opinion of everybody I'm talking to here. I don't care. Let me get Tony. Tony, uh, what do you think about Kay? Oh, I think she's a fat pig, and not only that, she's real annoying too. Very annoying. Well, I'm so hang up. It's pretty much unanimous, Kay. I don't care what they think. I know you don't. But I don't. That right. When you tell me you don't need a man, the reason you don't need a man is because I have a man. I just don't. You have a man? Yes, I have a man. Really. Uh, does he live with you? Uh, no. no. Because I He's don't go for that. Because a Christian Sees you late woman... at night when nobody's looking. No, that's not true either. Really? Really. Does he live with you? As I said, I won't let a man live with Ooh. me. Because every time I end up having a man live with me, I end up supporting his lady. That's because you're 180 pounds. No. Yes, it is. No. Think about it. Think about what? Do you think a really hot chick would be supporting anybody? You know, I don't know. They're probably the only way you get a man is if you pay his bills. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll bet the guy who knocked you up, you were probably paying his bills, too. No, actually, I wasn't. He was paying yours? Nope. No, it's probably some bartender who gave you some free shots. Oh, right. Yeah, very... Very classy there. I know. Where did I'm the king of... Where did you get your license to be a professor out of a jack-in-the-crack box? A jack-in-the-crack box? Yeah. Is that what you call it? Jack-in-the-crack? Yeah. Is that is that a fast food joint? Yeah, yeah jack-in-the-crack. That's where I got mine. Yeah, I know. Yeah? I'm just calling to stick up for the few women that have kids that don't expect a man to pay their way. Well, there are women like that. They're called 180 pounders, for God's sake. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You don't have to have a girl wrapped around your finger. Not my finger. I want you wrapped around. The Tom Likas Show. Like <laughs> Follow 
from Hollywood, it's Like It's 101. I am your professor. At 1 800 5 800 Tom. Maria on the Tom Like It Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. How are you? Great. <laughs> I was calling because I hear, um, you know, I've heard, I've been listening to you for about six months, and I've heard you like Latin women. I do. Yes, I'm from South America. I am um, half Venezuelan and half Brazilian. That's very South American. <laughs> and um, I just called, um, I wanted to let you know, about four months ago, five months ago, I got breast augmentation. Um, I used to be a 34, 36B, and I'm wearing about 34, 36 uh, double D. Oh, you went all the way. <laughs> Well, I'm a makeup artist and a hairstylist, so I get really good. And, um, you know, another thing, too, I've heard a lot of women that are jealous and are haters, um, they tell you that you're nothing to look at and that you're hideous looking. Well, for the first time, I went to blowmeuptom.com, and I saw your pictures, and I honestly don't think you're that bad looking at all. Look at you! I think you're, you know, I, I mean, honest truth, I don't think you're like the hottest guy I've ever seen, but yeah. I don't think I don't think you're hideous. I think, uh-huh. I think you're just mildly hideous. You're no, I think you're about, you know, eight out of ten. That's pretty good, eight out of ten. It is. I would sleep with you. Really? <laughs> yes, and actually, I would probably be one of those that would come up to the bar and sit down next to you. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> yes. Wow. So, you know, I just, I love the fact that you love Latin women. Um, you know, not only, it, it's not that I'm a superficial person or materialistic person. I, you know, I went to school. I, I work, for, live on my own, work for myself, no boyfriend, and I'm only 25. So I'm still having fun. That's good. That's what you should be doing. <laughs> I mean, I do have morals and values, but nowhere in those morals and values did my parents ever tell me you have to get married. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so, you know, I love you. I love you so much. You don't even know how much I love you. Is that so? <laughs> I would actually love to go dance salsa and merengue with you. Is someday. that, well, you know, of course, what a dancer I am, for God's sake. <laughs> Maybe we can dance the night away to the hotel. <laughs> You're out of control, for God's sake. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. This is Andrew on Like It's One Hundred One. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? Nah. Hey, um, you know, I was just calling. To, you know, all those guys that called in, they're like nineteen, twenty years old, and, and have those girls that are love their life and they want to get married to them. You know what? I did it at twenty. I'm twenty two. Going on 23, and I'm already working on the divorce. I got one kid with her. She's got one kid with another man, which so I'm supporting two kids right now. There you go. That was there was a red flag that you ignored right there. Yeah, I, you know, and I, I got to say too is I I didn't start listening to Lycus until it was too late. And I'm telling you, man, if if I was listening to you before I met her, I never would have dated her. I never would have went out with her. I'd have told her to hit the road. You'd have saved hundreds of thousands of dollars over the life uh, uh, of those kids. Oh, oh yeah. Well, you know, it's funny, too, is the judge is he's debating on whether or not I get to pay child support for uh, not only my kid, but the kid that I didn't even help make just because I married her. Well, this is what I always say, that when you get with the Jacob West kids, you could end up being on the hook and get guys say, where do you get that from? Where do you get that from? You know, it's a... I get it from guys like you. Who tell me this all the time. Yeah, you know, I, I tell you, man. I had I like I said, I started listening too late, a little too late, a little too sorry. But like I said, I, I am re- trying to rectify it right now. I'll wait the eighteen years and then I'm done. That's it. <laughs> He's twenty two. He's gonna wait the eighteen years. Uh, well, there's not much I can do right now. Well, happy fortieth birthday. I know, really, huh? Yeah. So hey, take me out with a bong hit and a Kobe Bryant. Uh, you deserve at least that. Here you go. <laughs> this is about us. She's so special to me. You hear beats in my heart. Yeah, the air I breathe. She's so special to me. 
It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Tony on Like Us 101. Hello. Hey, Tony. I mean, Tom, how's it going? Hi, right, Tony. Oh, man. Just to uh, give your listeners a little bit of advice about what I went through. I um, I was paying support for six years on a kid that I thought was mine. And then I finally got a DNA test and it turned up it was mine. By the way, if you were paying for more than two years, if she chose to, she could make you pay for the entire time. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, I got a lawyer, and she kind of tricked her into, you know, signing a stipulation, which she agreed to, you know, have me off the hook. And, you know, I just, well, basically, just giving your uh, listeners advice, like, look, if you have a kid, if you If, if she married, tells I you she's pregnant, always demand a DNA test, 100% of the time. Oh, uh, I learned the hard way. I mean, my parents were telling me to do it, but I'm a hard-headed guy, so I thought, oh, he looks like me and this and that, but turned out it wasn't mine. So $85,000 later, you know, it was an $85,000 lesson, but I'm free and clear now. I'm How did she react? Um, when my lawyer told her, you know, she gave the whole, you know, the tears and, oh, my God, you know, I slept with my my friend and it might be his and the whole shebang, but... You know, she she acted. She she admitted it. You know that she slept with somebody else. You know, but um, I'm 32. Never been married. Don't plan on getting married. And um, all the girls that call in on your show, can I just say they're really annoying as hell. By the way, uh, between the cost of your attorney and the cost of the child support, how much did this alaska paid cost you? Well, just the child support alone was about eighty five thousand. Eighty five thousand dollars. Yes, sir. And with the lawyers, I had to get three different lawyers because they all lawyers suck. Can I? Just all lawyers don't suck. Cheap lawyers suck. Well, I'm like 15000 deep just in lawyer fees. So, yeah. So, you know, just for all your listeners out there, the 18 And by, by the way, you say all lawyers sucked. He he got her to sign a stipulation uh, saying that you don't have to pay anymore, even though she could easily have just said, F you, uh, you're the father, that's it, because you didn't t challenge it the first two years. Right, I understand. But so you know, he did yeah. a pretty damn good job. That's uh, fifteen thousand dollars is nothing compared to what you would have had to pay in child support had he not been able to get that for you. I know, I understand, but I mean, lawyers don't suck. Good lawyers are worth what you pay them. I guess, but I mean, the ones that I went through, they they made my situation worse than it actually was. I mean, How? Well, a few of them told me that you know you got to do this and you got to take care of that and you'll get more custody and more time with him because that's what I thought he was mine. So I was trying to fight for custody for him and um, none of that worked. You know, I just got myself deeper in the hole with her taking me to, you know, court and instead of just paying. So whose idea was the DNA test? My parents. Uh huh. And they and, told you that early on and you ignored them. Oh yeah. They told me early on and you know, I'm a hard headed guy, like I said, and I just, you know, I never did it. And so finally I did it just to kind of shut them up. And the result came out where, you know... You're killing me. William, I have a minute here, William. William, Hello? one minute, go. One minute? One minute, it's all I have, so step it up. Talk about what? We're on the air. You called about something. What is it? Oh, yeah, my girlfriend, she got pregnant. She was, we were going out, and um, three months later, she told me she was pregnant. And uh, we had only been out for a month. And then she told me some other guy... And then I didn't know what to do. Run. 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 Yeah. I told you when this happened. Run. Yeah, we've been going out for almost nine months now. Run. Yeah. Run. Run. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Are you going to do it? Yeah, I don't know. You don't know. Don't be a pussy. You'll be paying like that last guy almost paid for his whole life. Yeah. Don't be a pussy. The sex is great, though. We're like, do it Everywhere. I don't care. It's not worth what you're going to have to pay to get it. The Tom Likas Show.